Good evening and welcome to the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal. I've just cast out and watching the rod top while I talk. Constructed in the 18th century, the engineer was James Brindley and it's a local canal to me so I do spend a lot of time on here. I've been away for five days on European football duty in Bulgaria and I can honestly say that during that time away I haven't thought about fishing. That to me is the difference between a passion and an obsession. One is healthy, a passion, one is the opposite, an obsession. It's where something consumes us and takes us over. I love my fishing, I fish as much as I can, but it's also part of a balanced life. So I do lots of other things as well. While I was in Bulgaria, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, although it wasn't the result that we wanted, as the champions of Wales lost 5-0 to our counterparts in Bulgaria. But nevertheless, although I passed over water a few times on the team bus, when we were going to different places. And I did have a look and thought about where I might drop a bait, but it was just looking and enjoying the scenery rather than an intense desire to be there. Be passionate, but avoid obsession. But I'm enjoying this evening on the bank and hopefully I will have a fish or two to show the screen over the next hour or so. I'm into my first fish. It's uh, got a nice pull on it. It's a bream. <laughs> I didn't think it was a perch actually, which is my target species. But nevertheless, regardless of whatever it is in the net, the first one always means that you're off the mark. You're not a blanker. Not a big fish, but I'll tell you what, from my own perspective anyway, bream seem to be taking a hold on the canal in areas where years ago you never even encountered one. Now you're catching quite a few. Let's see what the rest of the session holds, shall we? I think it wants to go back. Tench, bream and eels, they all leave the same trademark behind. I've got the same all over me, even though I try to keep the fish obviously nice and wet and not on my clothes. Nevertheless, you do pick up a fair bit of slime and that's the hook length. While I'm here, I'll show you what I'm fishing with. Four pound Maxima Chameleon right the way through, eight of an ounce lead, a small shot of bead. The line goes right the way through and well, it's a little bit of a, a chewed worm at the moment, but a size six. Drennan super specialist micro barbed and then when I cast out again it'll be a, a, a much more healthier looking worm on the end and I'm fishing over red maggots and brown crumb simplicity in itself just caught my first perch a small one as you can see it's quite windy so I'm trying to do this type of filming when the wind drops in Bulgaria it was up to 37 degrees Celsius, beautiful warm conditions and as soon as the plane touched down in Luton it started to rain. <laughs> Welcome to the British Isles. No wonder the people talk about the weather constantly because you never know from one day to the next, even one hour to the next hour, what the conditions will be like. But as anglers we just get out there anyway and fish. That was a great session, even though I only caught two bream and one perch. I've enjoyed being back on the bank. Why not check out my website? The address appears at the end of the video and you can post a comment on there as well. I look forward to hearing from you if you're out and about yourself. As always, tight lines from me.